mercurial, meaningful, masterful, pioneering, not domineering, never worn an earring, don't get me mixed up with David Essex, had a lot of good sex, best viewed through Perspex, big fan of Deal or No Deal, my name is Peter Gabriel. I can't really do it. No, it's quite good. I'm doing an impression of um, Simon Day's impression of him. No, carry on. It's good. Okay. It's good, good. Go for it. Cerebral is a word lazy journalists use to describe me. Couldn't be further from the truth, frankly. It's just an elaborate ruse to keep people away from my private life, which is not all activism, supermodel girlfriends and lactose-free dinner parties, oh no. In fact, for the last six years, I've basically been sitting in, my, in the front room of my house, watching E4 and MTV Bass in my undercrackers, surrounded by empty tins of Stella and curry cartons. <laughs> Nearest I've been to Biko in the last ten years is my fridge, which is rammed with cans <laughs> and taste the difference microwavable curries. <laughs> Salisbury Hill? More like Blossom Hill. As for music, well, I've had a few bits out, but really, I'm most excited about my next project. In it, I've isolated the drum tracks from the greatest album of the last 50 years, Menswear's Nuisance, and had them transposed into sub-Saharan polyrhythms by Manu Katche, whilst I recite letters from prisoners of conscience over the top. Matt Everett, he really is the greatest musician stroke music news journalist I've ever come into contact with. And now, a song I wrote about my, song, my son's accident with a bottle of Ribena on the back seat of the car on a trip to Cornwall. Red rain is coming down. Red rain. I think you're putting yourself down a bit there. I think that was a pretty good impression. I do like the idea of Peter Gabriel just having given up. Yeah. Don't give up. No, he's given up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give up. I've given up, love. <laughs> I've given up. I've, I've gone to seed. Peter, I, have you been creating a, a, a new festival format for Wormhead? No, I've been watching no. Home, home, Homes Under the Hammer and eating Turkish Delight all day. What I like to do is watch. <laughs> very much so, yes. Is he, has he gone Welsh? Big fan of Song of Praise there. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, not hey, only uh, has that arrived. wonderful thing happened, but Philip Smith, Philip Smith has arrived safe and sound from his arduous journey. He's in. emanating cold. You know when someone comes in a room and they're that much colder than you are and it's like they're a little cold radiator? It's because he's walked from Essex. The M25 is shot north and south. Bumper to bumper? Yeah, yeah, bumper to bumper. It's we like, don't usually do travel at this time. We should do day, it. But, like, hang on a minute. Let's, let's get the... <laughs> So now we go to the latest, uh, the latest of the traffic and travel news studio with Bobby Pryor. Uh, 45 minutes I spent on the M25, in, it's stationary, and then the M11 was shut as well, so it's been a bit of a nightmare, but I'm here now, so expect the show to pick up. <laughs> Fat chance. Elbow the takeoff and landing of everything. This is the sixth studio album by Guy Garvey, Richard Jupp, Craig Potter, Mark Potter, and Pete Turner came out in March. Recorded partially at Elbow's Blueprint Studios in Salford and partially at Peter Gabriel's Real World Studios in Wiltshire. Hello, Peter Gabriel here in his underpants, <laughs> stringing cans of Stella. <laughs> I've got chicken tikka masala in the microwave, I'm very happy. <laughs> Why do I like that so it's much? It's great, isn't it? 